Let's see if they come. They, Jabril Frazier, Curtis Weaver, two guys that can really put pressure on a quarterback. And McMarion has time and a man. And it's Scott with a catch into Boise State territory. Good work by the offensive line, and McMarion hits Scott right in stride. It should not surprise you. This team has only given up seven sacks on the year. That's second best in the country behind Army, who only throws the ball like one time a game. 27 yards, and this is Jordan Mims, and Mims a big physical back. Bangs across the 25, down inside the 22. Pierce and Nawahini made the stop for Boise State. With Fresno going without a huddle up. Single covered. A second down, McMarion pumps and keeps. He's 10. He spins and he's down to the five with a first down. McMarion's ability to run the ball, 5.2 yards a carry this year, allows this offense to be multiple and diverse, keeps the defense unsure of what's going to happen. McMarion, time, end zone, touchdown, Johnson. Marcus McMarion. And Fresno State. An impressive opening drive in this battle of division winners. Little quarterback system throughout the year. Broncos first snap. Oh, yeah, this is Boise State. This is fun. Ripping, going deep. Deep shot caught there. It's Wilson at the 29. In case you were worried about Boise State not showing Fresno State anything, <laughs> first play. There's your answer, Jenny Dell. They told us they were going to come to play. They certainly did a flea flicker out of the gates. I think it's so much intrigue to understand and try to figure out what these teams are going to do. You have to go head to head with that best receiver and make plays, try and come up with an interception. Madison in the backfield and he'll get it big hole Madison to the five and he slams forward right at the stick Montel Cozart is in the game at quarterback Cozart takes the snap fires it corner caught touchdown Richardson everybody expects Montel Cozart to run the ball but he can really throw it those are just shy of midfield. Little screen right side. Madison has a block and a lane. And he is inside the 40 and down to the 35. Juju Hughes, the stop. Down. But as a team and an offensive coordinator, you have to say to your offensive line, running backs, hey, we have to be able to get one yard. When they know that we're going to run the ball, we know we're going to run the ball. We have to be able to get. And look at this. This is an interesting formation. Ripping straight ahead. This is going to be tight. It all depends on the spot. He needed less than a yard. Ripping is lobbying. Officials trying to nail down the spot. And the Bulldogs say. He he doesn't have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the laser eyes of Jay Feely. Huge stop for Fresno State in that defense, getting a push, bringing Ripon down, getting the ball back for their offense. <laughs> Into dinosaurs, that, those are uh, fierce things with great speed. That's down the sideline, battle there. Oh, laying out is Jordan with a catch. What an effort. There was contact. Then there was separation, and then there was a great catch. Wow. Excellent job going up, finding the ball despite the contact, bringing it in, turning his body so the ball doesn't hit the ground. And they don't. Blitz comes, and McMarion with an open spot there, and Rice is right there. That's terrific work. 
by a quarterback and his tight end to recognize the blitz. Clock stops as they're moving the stick, so hurry up, get to the line, have your play call, be ready to snap it as soon as they wind it. And they chose to throw it. Good coverage by Boise State. 23-yard attempt. It's a little bit of a tricky angle. And Camacho, who had kicked just two field goals in his career before this year, bangs home his 20th. Halftime in Fresno, division winners 10-7, Fresno State on top. You're watching college football on CBS Sports Network. Great technique from the safety spot. McMarion stays in the pocket, hits his man. That's O'Neal with the catch. And O'Neal has the first down. That's 12 yards on the pickup. He's out to the 45-yard line. O'Neal did a really good job because he ran the original route. He wasn't open, and then he came back inside, created space. McMarion found him, and they get the completion. If he just sits on his route. Did not suit up his foot in a boot. They are hopeful that he is ready next Saturday. Murray Scott in motion here. McMarion fires it wide open. That's Rice down the sidelines. And Jared Rice at the eight yard line. Nice job with that play. Kind of on this play. You're going to run the ball quickly, get up to the line of scrimmage. If you can get a tackle for a loss, Mims in. Touchdown. That was quick. You were right. I like what they did here. Change your pace. Get to the line quick. Not allow that new defensive front that just came in to get set up. And then Mims quickly into the end zone. Around the only one, one game. Every game, every play matters. Rip in again. Wilson. That is Brent Rippon's favorite route to throw, Zach Hill told us. Along throws up the receiver, was pushed out of bounds, reestablished, and caught the ball inbounds for a complete catch. It's my favorite route in football, the back shoulder fade. If you have out top of your screen, Kozart looks for a hole, tries to get outside. He's in trouble. Look at the red shirts on him. Nathan Madsen the first to get to him. That's a loss of about three. It moves your offense well and you bring him out. Hogarth now has missed one. And this one is clean through. Broncos have points to show for that drive. Broncos show blitz. They come with four. And a little crossing route. That's Jordan and he's got room. Cross midfield and Jordan up the sideline inside the 45 to the 43 yard line. Done this play a number of times today. The crossing routes underneath look deep. It's not there. Come back to Jordan. A good job by McMarion hitting Jordan in stride. That allowed four against Hawaii. Strong leg and the kick, and it's good. Jimmy Camacho, part of this revival here at Fresno State. Camacho proving Jeff Tedford and his decision right, knocking it through like he's done all year, his 21st field goal. Giving Fresno a nine point lead, starting it up. Ripping. Scrambling, Rippin to the two. And a first down for Boise State. Juju Hughes with a stop. Rippin. Handoff. Madison stumbled, falls forward, and he's in. Touchdown, Boise State. And knew that he, he was going to go somewhere other than Eastern Washington, but now he gets to coach him here. McMarion, play action, going to go deep. That's Johnson, and he's got it! And Johnson to the 10. Johnson dives. He scores! Touchdown, Fresno State! Yards. 
Pozart looks for a hole. Bounced outside. He's in trouble and he's swallowed up. Robert Stanley initially got there. It's a loss of two. And fourth down and four for the Broncos. So Brett Rippon takes you down the field on the last series, all the way down for a touchdown. He's moving the ball here, converted on the last third down on a beautiful throw, and you take him out of the game and you bring Cozart in. I just don't like it. I've said it all game. I know they've done it all year and have been effective at times with it. Marcus McMarion on third down on the handoff to Mari Scott. A terrific move. Scott does a little bit of everything. The senior wide receiver hops and spins and has the first down. Nice little wrinkle. They run the jet sweep in the zone read option. You don't see that very often. Get the first down, move the chains. You normally would see in a rivalry game like this. First and 10. Hokit, the big back, bruises his way across the 45 to the 48. Coach of the year, is there any question? Well, Jeff Tedford definitely has to be up there for the turnaround. Best turnaround in college football. Rip in, flush, caught, dropped. That could be a safety. We've been talking about him all day. Malik Forrester getting in the backfield, getting the sack. And it is a safety. Getting the safety. It took an official's conference, and now the signal that Fresno State adds two points, and they'll get the football. There is an excitement on that Fresno State sideline in these stands. And you talked all day, you and I did, about sowing doubt. Well, Malik Forrester has sown doubt in that offensive line for Boise State. They're gonna have to figure out a way because he's been too quick and too good, and he's been in the backfield all day. <laughs> they were picked last in the preseason <laughs> poll. Skillen is gonna fake it. They're gonna kick it over here. This is just like last week. High hop, Fresno State recovers. Three now. What a job Jeff Tedford has done here at Fresno State. Last year, this place was empty. One and 11 were the Bulldogs. Well, they, they did their part. They won the game, they get the trophy, and they gotta wait and see if they get a championship game. Odds are they're headed to Boise, but you never know. And maybe they sowed some doubt in the minds of the Broncos. And even if it's going to be cold and on the blue turf, it's going to be a heck of a ball game next week. Last conference game for these two. From one and eleven to nine and three and seven and one, nine and three and seven and one for Boise State.